Audrey, and I just want to spend some time talking about stretching outside of our comfort zones when it comes to encountering God. One thing you'll hear a lot this week is that meditation can look different to every single person. If you're bad at sitting still, you can go for a walk or go for a run or do some stretching, which we're going to do at the end of this video together. The verse I want to focus on today is Isaiah 55, 8 and 9 and verse 12. For my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are your ways my ways, declares the Lord. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. For you shall go out in joy, and be led forth in peace. The mountains and the hills before you shall break forth into singing, and all the trees of the field shall clap their hands. I just love that verse. It just talks about celebration, uh, specifically in nature, with God's creation, that He's for us and he celebrates with us and he wants the very best for us. So we're going to focus on the words joy, peace, and singing while we're stretching. In a literal sense, stretching helps improve your flexibility. It helps oxygen flow better through your body, it reminds you to breathe deeply, and it helps you relax. Usually when I stretch at home, it looks a little bit like this. <laughs> as interruptions to my stretching but now it's just a welcome part of my routine and it's weird if they don't jump in and stretch with me and distract me. Um, one thing to keep in mind during meditation is that God can use what seem like interruptions and distractions to connect with us. As I said earlier physical stretching can lead to flexibility so stretching our faith and stepping outside of our comfort zones can lead to flexibility in our spiritual lives. We become more open to hearing from God and more willing to take steps into the unknown the more that we practice it. At times we can get frustrated because we want a clear answer right here, right now. We're saying, I'm sitting here waiting, God, please tell me what I should do about this. Um, but God wants us to step outside of our comfort zone so he can show up and wow us. When we try something new, we give up control and allow him to move. We don't feel like we need God if we're doing something we've done a thousand times, right? So when we try something new, he has to step in and that's kind of scary, but there's also a lot of freedom in that letting go. God knows when we need to hear from him even more than we do. Like the verse says in Isaiah, um, his ways and thoughts are much higher than our ways and our thoughts. We just think so much more simply than him. He provides comfort in places that are new or uncomfortable or scary. Um, it could be your first mission trip, your first day of school, starting a new job, living somewhere new, learning to drive. God loves to meet us in all of those places. Mm -hmm. So during meditation, maybe you don't directly hear the voice of God every time you sit down and open your Bible and open your journal and say, okay, I'm ready to hear from you. But just the meditation time mm -hmm. allows us to stop and listen um, and think about where we may have already encountered mm -hmm. God earlier today or yesterday or last week without even realizing it. It's just a good time to slow down, um, be thankful, or admit where we're worried or where we're frustrated, and kind of allow God to work in us in that moment and just say, hey, I've got you. Okay, so I'm just going to very briefly go through some of my favorite stretches with y'all. Um, and if you do want to practice these on your own, I encourage you to hold each position for anywhere from 10 to 30 seconds. Um, it's just different for every person, just what feels good to you. If you've never done yoga, this will kind of feel familiar, um, but I'm just going to show you some things that really help me de-stress and unwind. So first thing I want to show you is called Downward Dog. Um, so you're just going to make a V with your body. Hands down, legs up like this. You can pedal out your feet. Next thing, you can step forward. This is called Runner's Lunge. Stay like this, or put your knee down and sit up with hip opener. Whatever you do to one side, of course, you have to do to the other. Get really good for stretch. And cross your foot in front of you, like so, your back leg straight out, and lean forward. Sit up or lean forward all the way. Also, sit out, leg straight in front of you, and just reach for your toes. Also stand up and reach for your toes like this. Gravity will work with you. Hold on to your elbows. 
and cross your legs. Put one arm down, stretch over like this on both sides. Hold forward. See how far you can reach forward. One of my favorites is to take your leg across your body and twist. If you choose to try this again on your own, um, your own stretching, your own verse, I would encourage you to just find a verse. You can repeat the whole, whole verse or a phrase from that verse or just one or two words um, and just let the truth of that scripture wash over you and just fill every little crevice in your body, every muscle, every cell, just like you'll feel the oxygen spreading through your body and it will bring this overwhelming sense of peace. Um, sometimes I like to stretch or do yoga for 20 or 30 minutes um, for a longer meditation and I promise it's just going to help you feel better. So that's just something you can try. And while you're physically stretching, um, just focus on and think about how you can spiritually stretch yourselves. What are some new things you can try? What are some comfort zones you need to let go of? There's been a lot of change in the world, obviously, in the last few months. Um, so you've probably already stretched outside your comfort zone in a lot of new ways. So hopefully God has met you in that. And if you can use the meditation time this week to maybe reflect back over the past few months and think, hey, this is where I did encounter God and I didn't even realize it at the time. That was pretty cool.